since I did not want pleats, I want a romper similar to Nomi 2074. I don't want sleeves and I want to add pockets and I also want a zipper down the front. So I created this pattern. I used the pocket piece from this pattern here. And then I also made a facing so that this will go around the neck edge. And I also made a gusset to go around this curve here, which is in the crotch area of the romper. And I lengthened a bodice shirt piece. So I had a shirt pattern, I lengthened it. And then I also had to lower the armhole since I don't want sleeves. And then I also changed the neckline just a little bit on the pattern that I was using. So the neckline went up a little higher and I just kind of brought it down some. Now I'm going to go ahead and start sewing. I already have the pieces cut out and I'm using this fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I sewed the front and the backs together. I sewed around the pocket edges. Now I just need to put the gusset down here and I did do a centered zipper down the front. And then I'm just going to finish the sleeves off. I'll probably just fold the edges in and stitch down and then I'll put a facing around the neck edge just to neaten up the finish here at the top of the zipper. But this is really, really easy. I finished the romper and now I'm working on New Look 6232. This is a unisex shirt pattern and I'm making view A right here. View C and D have darts in the back and I didn't want darts in the back so I left those off and here's view A. I also left off the cuff and the front pockets. I'm using the same patchwork denim fabric because I bought so much of it. And I'm actually almost done. These are all the pieces that I have left to put on the shirt. Here's the shirt and what I have done so far. There was supposed to be a pleat on the shirt sleeve and I'll show you what I did for that. There is a pleat in the back. This is the sleeve pattern, and you can see down here at the bottom, there are marks for pleats. But since I did not want pleats, I folded these pleats out of the way before I cut the pattern out. What I did was I folded the pleat in the direction of the arrows. So you have a line here, and this gets folded over, and then you pin it down. I'm just doing this roughly. And then you do the same thing to this one. Fold it over, pin it down, or you can tape it down. And once, up, oh, this one came up. Let me pin this a little better. And then once it was all pinned down, I did have to straighten out this edge here because you can see it kind of goes in a little bit. So I just straighten this edge and then just cut the pattern out that way and I was able to eliminate the pleats that are at the bottom of the sleeve. To straighten out this curved edge, I just took a piece of paper. This is just some scrap paper that I had from a pattern. I usually try to save these big pieces. So I'll stick this under here, tape it down, and then I would make sure that this piece of pattern is on the grain line. And then I just took my ruler and I made sure that this corner lined up with this corner. And I'm just doing this roughly to give you an idea. But once everything was nice and straight, then I just drew a line from one corner to the other corner, from here to here. And then I just cut the pattern out with this new line. If you do decide to remove the pleats and not add the cuff, just double check that your shirt sleeve is not gonna end up being too short. If it is, you may need to just add some length here. Just lengthen this a little bit just to make sure you'll have a long enough sleeve. Here is the sleeve piece. So when I say add here, I mean you're adding to the bottom hem portion of the sleeve. 
and that's what this note is to myself. Sleeve is good length if not adding cuff. However, it's the reverse. If I do decide to add the cuff, I will need to check that the sleeve won't be too long. <laughs> I have part of the collar done. I did finish the front band. I left off front pockets. I do need to hem the sleeves and add buttons. Today I'm going to wear this simplicity pattern. It's a shirt that I lent into a dress. My friend is in town from Texas. I'm looking at the time. I'm supposed to leave in like 15 minutes. It's about 7.45 right now and I want to leave at 8. So yeah, she's in town from Texas. I haven't seen her in a couple years, so I'm excited to see her and catch up and see how things have been going. We're going to meet at the Corner Bakery. I was online last night looking up their menu to see what they have for breakfast. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get yet. I might end up just getting something to drink because I don't always eat breakfast, which I know is not a good thing, but we'll see. So I made it to Corner Bakery. I'm a little bit early. So I have time to tell you all about this dilemma I'm having. It's a small dilemma, nothing really major. We have a family reunion coming up and different family members will wear different colors. So the way it works is like, say, my Uncle John and his wife and their kids will all wear like the same colors. So that way, you know, if you see Uncle John and his family wearing red, you know, oh, okay, that's one of Uncle John's descendants. So you know that they all go together. So I was telling my husband the other day, I was like, oh, we got to figure out what our color is going to be this year. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out last night what our color was. And I looked through my closet to see like, okay, what can I wear? I kind of knew this already, but I had nothing in my closet that is this color. I was looking around. I was like, wait a minute. The color is purple. Nothing in my closet is purple. I have hot pink, red and blue, which make purple. <laughs> But no, I do not have anything purple. So my dilemma is trying to figure out what I'm going to wear. I kind of want to go thrifting and see if I can find something. Um, and I'm thinking maybe t-shirt. And maybe I could take the t-shirt and do something with it and, you know, make it different. Or I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to figure it out. So that's going to be interesting. So I'll keep you posted on that. I decided to get out of the car and just have a seat in front of the restaurant. I did get a little bit chilly. So I pulled out my sweater, which I always try to keep handy. And then my friend texted me and let me know that she was running a little bit late. Just finished having breakfast. I ended up getting hot chocolate and some potatoes. That was it. But I was talking to my friend about the reunion that I'm going to and what she told me that her family does, which I thought was so interesting, I never heard of before. She said her family, they have rented out 
university dorm rooms before and all the family members will stay in the dorm rooms and then they have access to the areas like they can play on the fields and they can do different sporting activities and stuff and I was like what that is so interesting so I didn't even know you could do that I thought that was so cool and then I also talked to my mom and I was telling her about us having to wear purple and she is so sweet she jumped online and she started sending me ideas on different things like she sent me a purple top some purple pants and we were talking about maybe making something and so yeah now I have all these ideas floating in my head because I could make something but I just don't know if I want to so that's my dilemma I think I'm going to get this jumpsuit so I went to two thrift stores and I didn't see anything I liked and then I decided to check on Amazon and I like this I think it is so cute and I can see myself wearing it again. So I think I'm getting this and it has pockets. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know when you order with Amazon, you will have your stuff quick. I ordered this jumpsuit just yesterday and it's already here. So let me open it. See what it looks like. It almost looks a little pink. Kind of, but no, I guess it does look like a lavender, a light purple. I can't wait to try it on. And, oh, it's a knit. I didn't know it was a knit. Oh, okay. And it has the shearing at the top. And then I thought this was woven all day long. It is knit. So... That'll be nice and comfortable. It's a stable knit though. It doesn't have a whole, whole lot of stretch, but it does stretch. So that's cool. I like it. Now I just need to try it on. And yeah, there are the pockets. I'm gonna see if it lets you know which way is the, okay, yeah, there's a tag in the back. All right, I'm all set. Y'all, my husband bought himself a little something on Amazon too so that we can match. Bless his heart. <music> 